The next speaker is Mr. Sal Gomez. Mr. Gomez's topic is civil rights. Good morning. Beautiful day in El Paso. Mayor Pro Tem, City Council, Madame Joyce Wilson, good day to you. Uh, th this is a stack of, of, of copies of the petitions, and these are about 15,000 signatures. Uh, thank you, citizens and registered voters of El Paso, for the signatures gathered in El Paso, Texas, on our petitions. We, the private citizens of El Paso, by signing the recall petitions, protected our constitutional values. You stated that our vote must be respected. You, the people, stood up to support our constitutional rights. Your signature signifies that. The recall petition signatures came from well-informed registered voters, not from uninformed idiots as claimed by those who are opposed to the recall effort. All 15,000 signatures were offered freely and willingly. How can you or anyone in his right mind dispute 15,000 signatures? I don't, know, I don't get it. Each and every signature is invaluable to allege otherwise is further disrespect to our vote. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Lilly, Representatives Robinson, Olguin, and Acosta. You did the right thing with your vote. A special thank you goes to our city clerk, Ms. Richarda Monson, for going far and beyond the call of duty by certifying thousands of signatures. The recall committee will fight till the end until we do reach our goal in recalled you three folks. To the end, we will not give up. The day of reckoning will arrive. There is no doubt, it will arrive. We, the people, do not want you in office anymore. You may want to stay, but we don't want you. <laughs> 15,000 signatures said that, not just me. So may I suggest that you have a good day? Think about it. The best thing you can do, Mr. Ortega, Ms. Bird, Mayor, wherever you are, is resign. Avoid the tremendous cost that's going to hit the city straight in the face. You have a good day.